Hey guys, this is Bruce and today I want to talk about one of my favorite opportunities, my favorite job offers and that's remote work. I don't get them very often but every now and then I get them and wow, those are rare but uh, very rewarding, very very cool opportunities. But before we do that, I want to talk to all you guys who are really trying to get into cybersecurity and been asking me to do this course. I've already released it and if you're interested in it, actually here, let me just show you. This course is accessible from your phone. I'm going to put the link about right here right here in this region and if you go to that link you'll come up with this site right here security compliance 101 so you gotta sign in first of all sign up is free enrollments free and once you get inside of the site a bunch of courses so once you're in the site you'll see a few courses you'll see risk management framework 837 which what I have there is um, some of my old stuff on 837 it's all that stuff's all free and in the future, um, I may actually do a full course on 837 as far as how to do it, risk management framework, which I know a lot about. You've got some stuff on risk management framework 853 if you're interested in that. There's actually a free downloadable for you, the presentation that I did on that. And I'm thinking about doing some, some coursework on that one as well. You have an advertisement for how to make six figures coming soon. Well, now it's here. And so that course, if we go to view more courses, we'll see it right here. View more courses, and here it is. Cybersecurity, how to get in and how to get six figures, 50 bucks. In this course, let me just give you a, a rundown of what this course entails. This course talks about my experiences as a cybersecurity professional. It goes into why this is a hot market, and you'll very quickly see why they're willing to spend so much money on cybersecurity. I break all of that down, the need, the huge gap that we have to fill. I talk about the landscape of IT security from different perspectives from the Department of Defense to Department of Homeland Security and how they break it down. We're going to talk about your cybersecurity goals. Now here's where the rubber meets the road because what you're going to do is you're going to take everything you learn in the cybersecurity landscape and then you're going to figure out where you best fit in, where you should start. Once you have that mapped out and you've done your homework on that, then what I'm going to do is show you cybersecurity resume tricks that I use to make myself extremely marketable to all these people out here that are looking for you, to looking for people like you and I. Marketing yourself is the last thing that I'm gonna talk about and that goes into some of the tricks that I use to actually get so many offers and things that I've picked up along the way. I talk a little bit about making yourself more marketable, how to get a security clearance, things like that. It's a video course, walks you right through it. You can access it from your phone or from your laptop or anywhere like that. And if people are interested in this, if I get a lot of interest in it, then I'll actually do more things like this. And actually what I wanna do is put more content into this. As new things come up, I'm gonna put things that are just gonna be in this course and not necessarily on YouTube. So that's the course in a nutshell. I hope you guys sign up. I hope you're interested in it because I would like to do more stuff like that. I had a good time doing it. But let's get into remote work. All right, so I got this offer. Well, it's not an offer officially. It's just a, kind of an opportunity. And it's saying uh, the guy's name here. It says I'm an IT recruiter. And it's in time info, Inc., I guess. Is that, that's where he works. And he came across my resume because I use all the techniques in my cybersecurity course there. And he says, there's the job description below. Let me know if you're interested or comfortable with the requirements. And he leaves his callback number. And it's a remote position for an information security architect in Philadelphia. Lots of stuff coming out of Philadelphia lately, I noticed. Six month contract. And they're saying the interview would be phone or Skype. So I don't have to fly there. You can be a US citizen or have a green card. Green card holders. That's good. And the role is ask me if I know anybody in the Philadelphia area who would be able to come in once a week, okay. Let's just go into the de job description and the role. So it's saying collaborate with security uh, architecture and information security leadership to help guide the security architecture program. Collaborate with and influence technology leaders and stakeholders to produce solutions and architectures, all right? So that's the overall, but key deliverables, but not limited to interpret information, security requirements, policies, and standards to help ensure delivery of security IT solutions, identify and deliver strategic initiatives and drive revenue and improve efficiency aligned with business strategies, develop technology vision strategies that support and enhance the business strategy, cultivate 
relationships and business stakeholders and IT leadership communicate architectural plans and strategies, develop, communicate, and deploy enterprise architecture process. So what I've noticed is that architects are paid really well, security architects, and I talk about this a little bit in my course. Security architects is kind of a special genre of security. It's pretty high level. Normally the person has to have a lot of experience to do a security architecture position. They have to know not just technical, like they're, they're not just deep in technical things like setting up servers and how, how networks work and how servers interact with what, what they need as far as firewall protection, all that kind of, they know that kind of stuff. They know networking pretty good. They know all that kind of stuff, but they also know policy. They also know policy, contracts. They're really skilled in multiple areas, like a full scope area. Architects are, are paid pretty well because they, their experience gives them such a huge range. So let's see, key relationships, security architecture leadership, information security leadership, team C. This guy is talking, whoever is gonna take this role is gonna be just talking about nothing but leadership because they're developing the whole infrastructure, it sounds like, from a security perspective, so that's incredible. So it's, they have to also know documentation. So documentation, regulations, doing contracts. They'll sit in with the contractor, if they're actually designing a contract to win some a bid or something like that. They have to actually know, uh, have in-depth knowledge of the organization, in-depth knowledge of the IT, the infrastructure. They have to work with other high-level engineers. It's a lot of stuff that they have to know. Hi, listen to this, high-level skills, change and an ab adaptability, client focus, business acumen, and they're asking for 10 years equivalent experience, excellent written communication and presentations. You see how it's like, it's pretty much all over the place with uh, architects because they're expected to know a lot. Key requirements, let's just go over a couple of these real quick. Look at this, CISSP required, CISSP, ISSAP preferred. That's like a higher level of I CISSP, by the way. It mentions CEH, that's interesting. It said it's optional. But let's let's read a couple of these key requirements. Acquire a complete understanding of a company's technology and information systems. Plan, research, and design robust security architectures for any IT project. Full understanding of a vulnerability test risk analysis and security assessment. Develop requirements for local area networks, wide area networks, private, virtual private networks, routers, firewalls related. See that? See what I mean? Like you pretty much have to know a lot of different aspects of things. This is something I feel like I could do because I've been doing this so long, but something I've never actually done outside of one product. I've like architected one product to integrate into a network, but never like an entire network. So I would feel a little apprehensive about taking a position like this, even with all my experience. All right, guys, that's it. Like I said before, if you're interested in how I'm able to get all of these crazy offers remote from my home type jobs. Just go ahead and go to this link right here. Go check out the course, read it for yourself. It has a little breakdown that you don't, you know, before you pay, you can actually see what, what I'm talking about in there. And I hope to see you guys in there. All right, see you later.